The local business owner that's behind these orange tents says this mission is personal to him. He says he wants to offer tents to as many people as he can. But he says he's getting pushback from the city of Chicago. And pretty soon, these tents are going to have to be removed. Andy Robledo is a successful business owner at a local plant shop. He's grateful for where he is today, but admits his journey wasn't easy. So I'm an addict in recovery myself, um, and I've seen both sides of it. So I've seen how substances can ruin your life. Last year, Robledo started providing these ice fishing tents to give the homeless a warm place to live. He says they're also more aesthetically pleasing. Robledo has since distributed more than 70 tents in areas throughout Chicago with the help of community organizers like Inglewood Barbie. But I understand like how it feels to be forgotten, how, how it feels to wake up and just not know like why you're here. So my purpose is to help people. But the organizers say they're getting pushback from the city. Earlier this week, the Department of Family and Support Services tagged the tents with these red notices, indicating the items may be discarded because they violate City Code 1027-070, which prohibits storing personal property on the public way. Nina Spoden, who lives in one of the tents, says a city worker told them not to get too comfortable because they wouldn't be there much longer. They're hoping they'll be able to stay. Having um, people come out and help just out of, you know, their own hearts means a lot to us. I think it's good, I guess, if you need a home, but also, I don't know if it's promoting living on the streets, so it's interesting. The city tells the ABC 7i team that these notices were placed on the tents so they could conduct a cleaning and that no resident is being relocated as part of this project. Uh, so yeah, if you look at the ordinance and you read the actual tag, uh, it is pretty uh, harsh language. Um, and it's meant to remove these tents. The city tells the I team that leading up to cleanings, it connects individuals with shelter, housing, and other services, adding that, quote, since 2020, DFSS invested $35 million to launch the Expedited Housing Initiative, which has so far moved over 1,800 households into housing from shelters or encampments. The organizers behind these tents say they're hoping to meet with the city in the coming days to try to convince them to leave these tents right where they are. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.